So for many, many of the older electronics out there, um, a lot of times these uh, products sit in for long periods of time or plugged in, um, they experience problems with the capacitors and I don't think uh, this product's any different. Um, I actually took out all of these large 1000 microfarad 200 volt capacitors here, uh, these six black long cylindrical um, caps they basically checked out okay. So definitely a lot of work and not worth the trouble um, unless you suspect there's actually a problem like they're bulging or leaking or something like that. Um, but I think that the quicker thing to look at if you're having power issues with the unit is there's a board uh, down here, which is where your 120 comes in. Um, it has an onboard switching regulator uh, as well as a low dropout regulator and I think the best thing to do is check this out first uh, I did take it out I know it's hard to see here um, but what it does have is it has this switching regulator it's a little 8 pin dip down here U4 uh, this guy here actually takes um, line voltage that's fully rectified and then it uh, produces six volts DC and in my case I wasn't getting six volts I was getting something around 1.7 so I knew something was going on here I tried to look at all the caps on the circuit board they all checked out okay so I didn't suspect any problems there um, but in my pursuit of getting this thing to work I ended up just somewhat bypassing this and hooking up my own six volt supply and when I did so um, it it seemed to work okay it actually turned this board on the, the main board with the um, looks like it has a TIDSP on it as well as uh, an FPGA and <clears throat> that all came up fine and the LDO or low dropout regulator that's on the other side of this board it actually takes the six volts and then um, regulates the five and provides that also to the other board. That seemed to work fine once I supplied six. So I thought, well, okay, that's my fix. I'm just going to go in the external six volt supply, um, kind of wired into the unit, and then then I should be off to the races. The problem is when I hooked it up and I didn't even have it powered, the the onboard six volts came up okay so I was scratching my head thinking well why turns out that just having additional capacitance on the six volt output um, made this thing start working again and so I started to suspect the there's a 220 microfarad cap up on top here that one um, I replaced with a 470 microfarad and it seemed to work so I didn't actually need to hook up a external six volt supply I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it seems like looking at the data sheet, it should work with the two. I think it was a, I think it was a 220 that was there before. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, that was my fix. I, uh, I don't know if others are going to experience that as well, but certainly you guys should give that a try. Just make sure you check the voltage off this board before you do any other work because it's. It may be just this board um, in the six volt supply. All right, I uh, hope this helps you.